All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Fedora Linux and how Fedora Linux is one of the most exciting distributions out there. Every six months it comes out and people are like crazy about Fedora Linux and even me. So this is why I am making this video. Now this is the KDE version of Fedora Linux. This comes out with uh, KDE Plasma 6 and it should be very exciting for a lot of you people out there. All right, so the first thing is we're going to install it to hard drive. We're actually not gonna install it, but we're gonna show the procedure nonetheless. So it says, welcome to the Fedora Linux community running KDE Plasma, so that's great. And I said community, I know it's operating system. Simple by default, it's, it has system settings like any other distribution. It has vaults for storing files securely, activities, KDE Connect to connect, connect with your phone. You can transfer files and stuff and KRunner overview and also get new stuff. Get new stuff is like, yeah, like probably discover. And they have a software center, which is called discover. You can find anything you like in there, just like any other Linux distribution, nothing special, but nothing bad either. Discover works perfectly fine out of the box and uh, it's good. You can also get involved. You can contribute by either making a donation or by making code changes or even by translating. Uh, so yeah, that, that was it. Uh, welcome to Fedora Linux, we can install it to hard drive. Let's just go ahead and see what that has for us. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try to install Fedora. I'm not sure why this is giving it to me in Hindi. I am using everything American by default on my Pop! OS machine, but I guess, uh, I mean, if it, if it still can detect that I am in India and it's giving me Hindi, so that's pretty good to see. And I, I can read Hindi, I just prefer to be English for the video. Uh, I want to proceed. This is unstable software, very understandable. You can have automatic partition. So this is already selected. I'm not sure why this is already selected and, uh, but this is okay, enable root account. Uh, maybe we don't want to enable root account. We can just disable that. Uh, user creation, we can have a user selected. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's just press done again. And it asked me for two times because uh, the password is really weak, but we're not gonna go ahead and install this. The installation procedure is very simple. You just wait for it to install, and then you remove the installation media and restart your computer. That's pretty much how it happens. So before I jump in to talk about what's new in Kitty Plasma 6 with Fedora, uh, let's just go ahead and talk about the operating system just for two seconds. Like this is the desktop, you know what this is. If you right click, you have a bunch of options. Uh, you can have icons on your desktop if you want to, even though that's dirty. But some people do. I am guilty of having it, of having done it myself. So who am I to speak? On the left, you have a start button with uh, things neatly categorized, and you have places. So for your history and other things which you opened up, and sleep, restart, shut down, and you can also log log out and switch user. Pretty self-explanatory things. Uh, you can change the workspaces. So let's just say you have this and this open, and you change the workspace by scrolling, and you see they disappear and appear back again. This is the panel or the taskbar, and it, this is floating by default uh, in Kitty Plasma 6 or in Fedora uh, 40, whichever name you mentioned. They're both very much identical uh, as far as the looks go. On the right, you have the volume, you have the disks, network integration, and then some other uh, things such as notifications, Wayland's. By the way, this is running on Wayland. You can always configure it to run in X11 mode, but that's okay. And if you are hearing some background noise, I am terribly sorry for that. Sound just travels too fast through the walls. Input method, vault, uh, brightness and color, display configuration, Kitty Connect for connecting with your phone. Uh, things which you already know, calendar and peek at the desktop. So what we're gonna talk about today this time around is the panel and you can enter the edit mode by right clicking and you have a whole lot of options, not only for the panel, but also for your desktop. So you can change the position to left, uh, you can change it to left, right, and center, and uh, that you can do. Uh, you can change the alignment as well to left, center, and right. We're just gonna keep it at center. This is interesting, fit width to fit content. Not the biggest fan of this because it looks ugly, very, quite frankly, custom is custom as well, and fill width is how it should be and how it should have always been. So another thing is you have visibility to so always visible. Uh, if you take a window, for example, it goes down like this. Let's just enter edit mode again. And we were in visibility. So you also have auto hide for self-explanatory dodge windows and windows go below, which uh, 
maybe it, this is for some people. This actually disappeared. So let's just go ahead and do auto hide. We're gonna close. Uh, so it auto hides, as you see, as you put your mouse below, a blue bar just tr uh, illuminates. And if you push the mouse a bit harder down, you get your taskbar. So that's perfectly fine. Enter edit mode, not really a, the biggest fan of this. Dodge windows is again, it will dodge the windows. It just go, go to hide when the windows come over it. That's okay too. Uh, let's just go ahead, open that back up. And here we have go windows, go below. So this is pretty self-explanatory windows go below uh, and it looks like this. That's, that's okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep it to always visible and opacity i have changed this is the adaptive you can always put it to translucent i believe it was changing color okay so if it is adaptive what you would have is once the window passes over it it loses its color and it stops becoming translucent and so you can always change it to opaque or translucent this is what i like i'll always keep it translucent whether i have a window over it or not and in style i like to keep it floating which i guess was an option from earlier plasma versions another thing this time around is if, if, is if you have a ton of windows open let's just open a few of these and uh maybe some from here as well k right so if you try to do alt plus tab this would show you all of the windows with the content inside mac os can't do it it's 2024 uh i guess you can already tell where i'm gonna go with this sentence i'm not gonna say it but you have understood let's just try to open another window for firefox let's see what happens so opening a new window and let's just go to something else maybe youtube so what happens if we do alt plus tab so it shows both of the windows as it should be mac os only has the ability to show one window out of the box which is uh 2024 so it's getting a little long in the tooth for that yeah not the biggest or the best thing anyway uh we have settings in discover let's just go through each of them one by one discover is the uh software center it has everything that you might imagine from audacity to uh i guess lutris and geary gini um everything you can also have settings enabled you can choose pick and choose your sources if you know what these are if you don't learn about them and then mess with them and here we have settings so the default page is the one with the breeze theme this isn't the breeze theme i mean it is but it is, it is a little bit customized because you have the fedora logo as the start button and this is dark the panel is dark by default in the start menu but the windows are not they are in light mode so it's a little bit customized uh, but that's okay. Let's just go to the about the system section, Fedora Linux 40, 6.0.2. We are on 6.8 kernel version, very recent, and we are on Wayland, but this is the first time for uh, KDE Plasma switching to Wayland from X11. But don't worry if you have X11, if you are a distro maintainer, if you choose to stick to X11, this, uh, I mean, you can, there is no hard and fast rule. They have to switch over to Wayland, even though you probably should. By the way, uh, I'm on Pop OS and this is using X11 by default. I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm not gonna complain. And as for changes inside the settings menu, it, a few things were shuffled here and there. The categories were changed a little bit. The things inside the categories got moved around and, it, and it's a bit bigger, I guess a bit touch friendlier, you would say. Overall, uh, perfectly fine. Uh, not very confusing because everything is neatly categorized. And even if you do get confused, you always have the search button to rely on. Another thing which is new is you have split view. So I already have split view open over here. What you do is you just right click and you say open in split view. And it shows you the uh, things. So if, you, if I click documents, it doesn't change. If, what happens if I double click? So it, it stays in documents. Okay, so if I want to have it in a split view, I'll just right click and select split view. This is pretty good actually. And also another thing that happened is you have to double click to enter a directory or a folder. Single click is no more the way to go. This I think is a very sane and very important decision. It's a little decision, but a very important decision that they took because a lot of people are accustomed to double clicking, uh, including me. And I would love to have it that way. Give the option for people to choose between what they want, double click or single click, but don't force a single one on them. Forcing, I wouldn't say keeping double click as default is forcing something since 99.99% of people are used to that, but it's okay. 
So apart from this, you have a much improved settings app, which I already showed you. The Plasma search is way faster. It lets you reorder search results and more. And, and it also has improved fingerprint unlock from lock screen, which is really good. I can't currently show it to you because I don't have it on my computer. And you also have 3D desktop cube effect, including a uh, ton of 3D spacey cubey looking things. I can't really show it to you because this is a virtual machine, but they look really cool. And you get big updates to KDE gear, including Kden Live, which is a fantastic uh, video editor for the very hefty price of zero dollars. Let's just go ahead and talk a little bit, with, see what kind of wallpapers there are. I almost forgot about that. I guess I have it open over here. And the default wallpaper looks really good. Let's just see if we have something new. Uh, most of these, I think we have already seen. I really like the kite. Yeah, this, this looks pretty good. So yeah, I mean, on that note, we're gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next time. Peace.